More reveals for Clan Selection Plus Volume 1, this time Mega Colony, so let's begin. But first, cards from last few days, which of course will be Mega Colony cards. Our first card is Mutant Gentleman High Class Moth, Grade 1, AK Power and its skills. Count, Deck, Soul. This card is regarded as a Grade 3. Really? A generic Grade 1 that counts itself as a Grade 3. That itself is already good. But its second skill, act rear guard cost, restless unit, put one normal unit from a drop zone back to the bottom of the deck, counter charge one, and then choose one of your opponent's rear guards and that unit cannot intercept until the end of turn. The ability of this card's name can only be used once per turn. So not only that it counts itself as a grade three, in your deck and soul mind you, it's also a generic counter charger for Mega Colony. No reason not to play four in any Mega Colony deck. Our next card is Prinzer Attack Mutant Intrude Scissors. Grade 3, Protect, 12k power and its skills. Auto drop zone at the end of the battle that your Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard attacks. If a new card was put into your opponent's damage zone this turn, cost Count Blast 1, call this to rear guard. This will be relevant for the next card, but second skill, Auto rear guard 1 place, cost Soul Blast 1, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and this unit gets plus 10k power. On place, meaning with Gridora, you can Spirit Call this in mid battle and get an additional attack. And in Machine's case, it focuses quite a bit on Grade 3s and resting your rear guards, so getting this off to stand one of those rested rear guards is also nice. And of course, the first skill calls itself, which will trigger its second skill because it's on place. So there are some combo potentials, especially with the next Mega Colony card. And then for the Tuesday stream, here are some tournament promos. One of them is a completely new card, which is only for the champion only, and it's a prize card, so of course you can't play it. Star Time Drag Eternal Dignity Dragon. Grade 4, 15k power, not a stride unit for some reason, and its skill is Auto Vanguard, one place. If the sum of your grades of face up cards from your bind zone is 24 or more, you get 10 additional turns. Man, these champion promos love to say you win the game. And of course, to the main card of the video Worm Toxic Moon Venom Stinger. Grade 3, Protect, 12k power, and its skill is Auto Vanguard. When a card is put to your opponent's damage zone during your turn, this unit gets plus 10k power until the end turn. The second skill will help this one. Auto Vanguard, when this card attacks, costs counter last one. Put a rear guard into your soul. Until the end of the battle, all trigger effects your opponent reveals are nullified, and you get to perform the same trigger effects as that trigger card. And then, cost Soul Blast 1 Grade 3, choose up to 2 of your opponent's damage zone, Put them to the drop zone, and deal 1 damage to your opponent for each card put to the drop zone. So basically, this card attacks, use its skill, all trigger effects from this attack are going to be nullified from your opponent, and if your opponent gets any trigger effects, you get to use those as your own. And then the second part of its skill lets you Soul Blast at grade 3, to let your opponent put 2 cards from your damage zone to the drop zone so they could take 2 damage, which of course, any triggers that they revealed, will be nullified and you activate them instead. Which of course will trigger its first skill because you just put cards in your opponent's damage zone. Along with cards like Intrude Scissors because you just put cards in your opponent's damage zone, which will of course trigger its drop zone effect to superior call itself. And not only that, the cost of the skill when it attacks says put a rear guard into your soul and what you can do is put a grade 3 that attack to your soul for this ability and then for the second part of its skill you soul blast that same grade 3 which will trigger the damage check ability and if you use the cost to put intrude scissors to the soul and soul blast it you can trigger intrude scissors ability because you deal the damage to your opponent after you soul blast it so overall not too bad now my only main problem with this card is that it will give your opponent counter blast and this seems to be like an ability that Brant should have gotten. You know, one that reverses trigger effects. Brant should probably be draining trigger effects as well, but whatever. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think about the new Mega Colony cards? The great one is the obvious must have. Intrude Scissors can be pretty good in some decks, but Venom Stinger... As its own deck, it's okay, but I do like the synergy from its cost. Putting any rear guard to your soul, and then having a grade 3 requirement to trigger its other part of its skill. But overall, I think it's decent at most, but Mega Colony is not really my thing, other than Gridora, so I don't really care for this clan. But other than that, have a nice day.